Welcome, this is Rod Mastar, the developer of the Kistar application for answering services, inbound, outbound messaging, and we're looking at the main screen. With calls coming in on the green window option, outgoing calls being monitored, any messages that are holding, alarms, or messages that are parked that are incomplete. Just click on the parked message. And that happens by clicking on a script to park messages. Returning back to the main screen, we're going to go to the account directory. And what's new is that we can see in the background incoming calls, not the full uh, screen, but a partial of the screen in the background, uh, so that we can look at active messages and accounts with statuses and alerts and know that so there's still something going on in the background. I click on the red button and demonstrate how that by clicking on the red button will take the next incoming call in queue and go to that account. In this case it goes to my MAST account and drops into a blank new message. With the answer phrase up in the top, if there's a time zone difference here being mine is different three hours which means that when we take a message that we timestamp this message their time not our time and we make note on it in our tracking section and we take a message to the office however this option to reselect the client is very handy and it sets up this message for that a client's setup or email addresses and so forth and how their control one is set. This client here has uh, groups and emails and texts and also groups. And so if I was going to take a message and I'm just going to pretend here with some quick messages then type them in and send out an email it would actually go out and send out that email and that one was set, scheduled to also set up an alarm. Okay, now let's go back to this account which has an alert attached up here at the top into Sally setup. And there's been a new option added up here is that when I do a control one that I will also set up a 15 minute alarm on that message and put in the message holding and if it was to do a group that the control one would also send out the same message to the group that this client is assigned to so let's transfer phone so it was this message Okay, and it has an alarm set, as I said that we would have. We can clear that alarm by clicking the clear button. We can go back to that message and do something to it. Here we are going to do a, or a group message out. Let's see, that last time I sent out was an email message. And I said that if I clicked on group, I would also send out and pretending one of two that's attached to that group and set up an alarm also on that same message so I can come back in 15 minutes. Transfer phones. Okay, there's the alarm. Because well, this alarm I'm going to change and add some more stuff so I can see the difference someplace else. And this message that is with an alarm on it, I drop in the next alarm coming up. That was a one time alarm. It would be this alarm or this message. Okay. So this again review. I'm working with Sandy. I go into her setup and I have set up there that I'm going to um, do on a control one a group 
set a 15 minute alarm, not deliver it, but keep it active, and send the message to holding. Okay? And so this message here that we're dealing with, that's in holding already, clear that holding by clicking on the clear button. Like Okay, so we got nothing holding. We got one alarm that's going to come up in 15 minutes. I can clear that. This particular message is a template. And we can't change a template, but we can add to the template. We can also stuff information in and not add any more and stuff again. Or stuff and add again. Okay. Template messages are preset so that if we wanted to resend out that message we can do so all the active messages one that had the alarm set because there's something in this field and the messages that we are dealing with okay and we're also tracking those messages that we emailed. This is a time zone, minus three hours of the TAS service. So what's been added, new, and tested is the ability to attach a letter to a group or a single email. Do a control one that's now got the option to also add a 15 minute alarm. It's a group option. The control one will also do the group option. So you don't have to remember to say, I'm going to do a group or not do a group, and I can do it here manually. This sets up a consistent control one. And also, this being a one time alarm. It's set for 15 minutes by default, like pressing the blue button here. And the alarms are more than just a one-time alarm. They could be a reoccurring alarms, okay, to reoccur on certain days of the week at the same time. Okay, but that's not a default alarm. The message could be a part of a batch or action message that's going to group all the messages that are current or between the day and date and email or fax them automatically if you wish. We have a server option to do that. The same message every day on Wednesday at 3.24 p.m. So in this case I'm not dealing with a reoccurring alarm this is a one-time alarm. Going back to the main screen and my alarms. Here's the next alarm come and do. And if I click on any message or alarm, I go to that message where the alarm is set up. Admin allows me to do some e resets and set some statuses and other things. That's not part of this discussion. More detail later. You can also set the alarm to filter out anything greater than today so we're not looking at today's or show all the next six months or preset our date. And this is a refresh button. Back to the main account directory. One of the options I have is I've set up a client or account with clients in it and I call them Father's Day, Memorial Day, whatever day you want. And that's a client 
that is set up a certain way to do a control one with a text out and texting means that we have tested our phone numbers to be correct so I would be doing an email out because I can set up a group and in this case I want to set up all accounts and so all the accounts are in this system all set up to do an email return out and so that's called a broadcast so in this case if I went to the account that was Memorial Day set up as a, bro a broadcast back to the account Memorial Day take a new message happy day and now if I send out an email only that email would go one out pretending one email went out let's go back to that account again and we were dealing with Memorial Day as a client and we were dealing with doing an email to an email address and we were going to broadcast it out to all offices which was MASN 3000 I should see a group uh, the email group is green and it shows two IDs that we're going to group to on a broadcast basis and above just like setting up email we have texting that is set with a green grouped and it shows that it's got one ID other than itself if we chose to send out a group text returning back to the account if we take a message that client is set up for either or if I sent out a happy day which is simplest a message you can do you don't need to fill in a text and click on group I've got one of three emails going out and those be coming back to the main screen additionally I have that one time alarm that's waking me up in the middle of the night until I click and that was to transfer phones to Sally remember we are taking a brand new message now before and this is just a second thing that we need to do is to accept that now I'm gonna postpone that message for three minutes return back to the main screen now when I postpone a, an alarm I have accepted the alarm and it's below the now line I've taken that alarm accepted it for what it is for fit three minutes so I can come back and do it again plus three and there's the alarm that will remind me in three minutes now some other interesting things as we learn the program administrate section I have a list plugin and there's the event that is going to time out one event okay and I have a reset up there for the events again I'm not going to cover the alarm admin section at this time no calls are coming in at this particular time there's various ways to get into an account I can go into the account MAST and hit enter and automatically enter into the account I can go into find that account someplace and enter and find the account 
or a message might be already in the account and that's the account but a message that was parked and I can unpark the message down here at the right hand side a couple of buttons up here I haven't talked to you about is uh, one is the delivery option and I can click up here and I can do a control to and deliver that message to old return me to the main I can manually as an operator deliver that first message to the operator that is logged on and then the next message if I want to deliver would be without asking it just delivers and returns me back to the main screen one of the new options that I've added and I'll just mention this again the brain. Why can't I stick this little window that's on the main screen on each one of these tabs? Now there's that alarm that is to transfer foams that's going to wake me up in the middle of the night. So it's just not one beep, it will continue beeping as long as you got speakers. And this, in this case, I'm going to accept this alarm. And that alarm, when I go out to the main, you see that it's changed to orange. It's been accepted. And I can go to that account and you see that it's been accepted. And things that we do make certain things happen. When it comes to alarms, this little area right here kind of talks about the alarm. This kind of says that we've accepted. Okay, and we can't change it, but that's a clickable item. Now generally when we take a new message, say for Sally, Sally is set up a few messages. A raw message, none, that's a default. A blank message, take a message, fill it in as we've been doing. A raw message is a template, like car type, whatever I put in here, and accept every time I take a message for Sally, it's a template with car type street, and I could edit it. And a real message is anything in the from field, I could put a dot in there, and that message is from that person. And now that I entered out and go back to the last active message, that message um, has a dot in it. And often you see me clicking on these little quick keys. It just helps me to quickly put data into those fields. And the same for down here. I can add to these fields. Back up here, we were talking about delivering a message. I can go to the last deliver message and reactivate it in case I deliver the wrong message by accident and then reactivated it. Perform actions, phone book, account contacts, other external account menu, and external client menu are both the same except one is everything pertaining to the account and affiliates. Affiliates, there are none. And I might touch on that another time. External account menu. There's some options here. Is the ability to send email, print, and fax. All active. All messages on hold. All messages scheduled. All messages are tagged. Or all messages between a date and a date. And these are quick keys. All messages between a date in a date or rather back 12 hours or the last 24 hours so there's a good way to set your account so that you could essentially send all the messages at 6 o'clock in the morning to an email fax server gone 
instantly and those will sit out there and progress through one at a time. Another option I have over here is the ability uh, to import from an Excel sheet into a work area that's turned on. And primarily anything you can take bring into an Excel sheet, those fields are broadcasted across here. It could be books, apples or oranges, or other people that you answer for. And this was a special option that I'm not going to touch on right now. But and one other option I think that we missed was view search this import. And so once you set up the import of the apples and oranges uh, from an Excel sheet, then here you have the ability to easily just search that library and see data to facilitate operators doing something imaginable. So imagine what you want to do with something like that and and then let me know and I'll make that easier for you. Contact information. Okay, and everywhere you see a lightning bolt icon. If you are connected up to a modem, modems connect up to a real dial out. We can dial through Windows Tappy and dial phone numbers or connect it up to voice over IP. In this case, it's trying to dial a number and perform the action phone book. And if we click on any one of these icons, it should dial the number. So phone And there's the number calling my number. Okay. Pretty simple. And actions. Uh, this is a pretty important screen that I uh, think about as a big block of text divided up into different sorted fields. And I've got five color codes if you set the sorted field exactly capital letters to be exactly equal to it will be that color. Set up print email fax but the admin section would set up the ability to modify your own. In case of say an uh, emergency vet different offices, whatever, you could have an unlimited amount of different what-if situations that your operator, if she can't find an answer, could probably find emergency information or uh, special on-call office information or whatever you can imagine a title to be. Okay, always looking for your suggestions. Returning back to the account. Some people use uh, the actions for on-call. Others set on-call by maybe using this full text area. Just cut and paste anything you want into. And that could be all another window pop-up. Could be for notes or for on-call. I have an on-call process. We could set Sally up on-call. Set Sally. They're set up on this account on a monthly basis. So all you need to do is set her priority, her times, maybe a note, add edit, and save the changes. And what we see here is Sally's on-call and notes are set up and in this case, first place. We can clear by just clicking in the clear one. 
And there's also an option to clear all. So anyways, we've covered uh, quite a bit this session and ending for this demonstration. And I hope that uh, it helps everybody. I'm here for any kind of questions to uh, further explain some of this detail. You have a great day. Thank you for your time and your patience. Oh.